Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me back in East Cork and back at a spot that I've come to a number of times before, which is Bally Cotton. And I'm at a different part now of this beautiful place for photography. And like I would have said on a number of occasions before, the beauty of this spot is that you will always get different types of shots. Now, today is an interesting day because I'm here for high tide. And what I'm doing actually is just watching these waves as they come in here behind me because I'm taking photographs of these rocks that are here as the water breaks over the rocks and I've got the lighthouse in the distance. Challenge today, as you can see, there is no clouds on the sky. So there are clouds to the western horizon, but there's none here on the east and I'm shooting with the sun. However, I am still confident that I'm going to get a couple of nice shots here as the water will come in. Now, I'm probably around about maybe an hour, I think, away from uh, high tide, yes. So what I've done is come over to this side of the beach because I can get shots of this rock. Any later, it's going to be covered in water, but as it stands right now, the water is just coming up to this rock and breaking upon it. So what I'm doing as well is waiting for the water, just like right now, that it comes up towards the rock, and I wait for it then just to break around the rock and then take the shot. I'm shooting at half a second actually and that's my preferred time for a seascape and that's actually working perfectly for me today. Now I'm also going to be waiting for a wave like this to come in around and sweep back out and what that will do as well is give you a nice water or mo movement of the water. Now this one here is interesting, I've got a double wave and a bigger one coming behind it so if I take that shot like this as the water breaks I should be able to capture that water in flow over the top of the rock as well. Settings at the moment, I'm actually shooting at f11 and I'm at half a second and that's probably going to change as the light will fade. But I'm shooting here in the, in the dark, in the shade from the wall behind me. But as you can see, my subject on the horizon is lit nicely. And that's allowing me to be able to get that half a second exposure. And I'm only using my 0.9 ND grad. So I'm not actually graduating the entire scene. I'm only taking control of the light that's at the top above the lighthouse. But as these waves will come through, as you can see here, there are some nice ones that are breaking over these rocks that are here. And with the composition as well that I have, I've got those in the center of the frame in the bottom third. And then with the water breaking over like this, and then movement in the center, and then the light on the top, I do think it's going to give me some nice shots for the start me off on my evening shoot here in East Cork. So I'll wait for a couple more waves here, and I'll maybe give you a look at the images that are there. And we're going to move along over towards some rocks here as well and try and capture some more movement in the water then as it breaks when the tide is coming in closer. Before I actually moved off here, I decided to change my shutter speed and I said I'd go for an extremely fast shutter speed. So I dialed in my settings to be able to get a 1,000th of a second frame rate. And what I'm shooting at here is F4 and my ISO is actually at 1,000. I still have my uh, 0.9 ND grad just to be able to control the sky ever so slightly so that that's not blown out considering it's so bright compared to the darkness here. But what I'm doing is waiting for a wave, just like this big one coming in. And as that breaks, that's going to crash over and I'm going to take those shots and I catch the water then freezing it in motion as it breaks over the top of those rocks. I've had a look at a couple of shots that I've gotten and they're actually quite interesting because you can see the wave as it kind of goes over the rock like an envelope and such like that. But definitely a different style, like again right here, as it breaks, catch that. And with my high frame rate as well, because I'm a high speed continuous, I'm getting a number of shots as that water would come over the rock. I think out of all of it, I'm probably going to get a nice shot. This could be a good one here now as well. If it breaks over nicely, I'll still take the shots anyway and have a look at those after. But definitely something different anyway to be able to take a shot here than my first photograph. And again, from the same composition. Actually, let me know in the comments, which image do you prefer? I haven't even seen them yet. So it'll be the half a second shot or do you prefer the high speed frame rate here catching the water in motion? So now we're going to move across here towards the rocks and hopefully we get some other nice shots as well from today.
I haven't had to go far from my next shot. I'm probably around about 20 feet from where I took the photographs earlier with the rocks. But what I'm doing right now is I've changed my orientation to a portrait orientation because there's some lovely rocks that are here on the ground. And as the waves are breaking in, you get the stream of the water going back out. And I've changed to portrait orientation because I don't want any distractions. I just want to have the stones that are below me here with the flow of the water as a wave would come up and break right by my feet and then it goes back out again. The lighthouse is still perfectly lit as you can see there in your screen. So like I would have said from the outset, I'm in shade here, but where that's positioned, it does hold on to the light for quite a lot of the time for sunset, which is great because it allows you to be able to have a prominent lit up subject on the top part of the frame. Um, settings wise now as well, I'm at f16, I'm at 0 0.06 of a second, so slightly longer than my normal. And the reason for that is because I want to be able to try and catch as much of the movement of that water as the waves go back out. And just like this wave here now who comes in to meet me, and then I catch that and take multiple shots as the water is going back out. And what you end up then is the stream of the white of the water against the darkness of the sand, leading the eye out when with the lighthouse right at the top of the frame also. I'm taking some shots too as the water comes in because looking at the back of the camera here it actually is nice on both. So I think I'll probably end up with uh, one shot with the water going out and another shot as well then with the water as it rushes in here to meet me. Uh, it's coming right up as far as my feet now so it's great because it's filling most of the frame and what that allows to do is give you a full encompassing image with no real blank spots within it except for the water as it flows back out again. So yeah, second shot, haven't had to go far, but no, just like this, I'm gonna take it so I don't waste it. Um, just like this, another shot, and I'm gonna head over now definitely towards the rocks here and see what else I can get. It's great, so many shots to get in this beautiful spot in East Cork. Once again, I haven't had to go far to find another composition. And with this area that I'm in here, I found a beautiful spot, I think, because there's a nice channel of water as it comes in here. And if you watch this wave, it comes up and it bounces here, but it also goes over onto the left-hand side. And what that's doing is it's filling up the channel in front of me. So what I need to do is to wait for a relatively big wave to be able to come in here. And then like this one now, capture that shot and capture that movement. Now the sun has gone behind the clouds I think on the west because it's not so bright on the lighthouse at the moment but it's still nonetheless lit up nicely and that's perfect because it's allowing me to get a bit of a longer exposure. At the moment here now I'm able to shoot at one second and I can probably bump that up to 1.3 seconds and that's going to give me more time to capture all of that beautiful movement that's coming in the water as it comes in and as it comes out. From my framing point of view, there's a couple of rocks that are below me here as well. So I'm using that on the base of the frame and then you'll have the water coming in just like you can see right now. And then as it comes up around here and then swooshes back out again, I think it's a lovely shot. So I'm gonna wait now for a pretty big wave to be able to come in, hopefully like this one here, fill up that channel and then I'll capture that shot here of this exceptional spot actually. That's a perfect wave. Um, exceptional spot here now for photography for this evening. I think I'm being actually spoiled for composition uh, today. So far anyway, in the back of the camera, the images look great.
as I was shooting that last photograph here, I spotted right next to me a rock where a big wave will break and it pours over and cascades over the rock and falls then below me. And because the rock is so dark and it's in shade, the white is really, really showing up within the image. Now, I do have to have a relatively big wave for it to actually break onto the rock in front here and then cascade over. But I think when it does do it, it really is nice. Just like this right now, I wait and I take that shot and then you get the nice movement of the water as well then as it comes over that rock. Settings as well now at the moment, I'm able to go for even longer exposure here, 1.3 seconds still. And this, at this point, it's going to be nice because I've changed my composition. I've dropped my tripod a bit further down and I probably will go actually lower as well to be able to kind of fill the frame without the gap in the middle here because you've got this water which is between me and the lighthouse and that's actually another island in between me and the lighthouse as well but if I drop my tripod down I close that gap close that distance and then effectively I remove that from the frame and you see like right now where the water will come in and then it will cascade down over the rocks that one actually didn't make it I think I probably have to wait for two waves uh, to come together or a large wave for it to do it but it's always you know good to be able to wait for that water to come through I think that as well also is going to be another shot if I think about this I've had one two three four shots and I am probably 30 meters from where I started so like I said from the outset Ballycotton is a phenomenal place for photography you'll always get different types of photographs and I think this shot now here this wave is going to be one that's going to break here we go and I now capture this as the water comes over this and I think that is exactly the type of shot that I'm looking for. of time has actually passed and I think I've gotten stuck on a composition it's the composition that I had earlier on here when I was in portrait orientation and with the water flowing over the rock here in front of me I've subsequently since dropped my uh, tripod down to a low angle like I said to reduce that gap between here and the lighthouse and sunset now has pretty much come and gone there was a nice bit of color the belt of Venus was right above the lighthouse so I think I got a nice bit of pinks above that and I was waiting and waiting and waiting for the optimal wave to come through and even though I'm at high tide I'm not getting that many of them I'm having to constantly check to see if I'm getting one that's going to be big enough to be able to break and cascade over and the only ones that are doing that are when I get a double wave as such and that allows one wave to flow through and another wave to ride on top of that and then have enough momentum to be able to break the peak of the rocks and then cascade over towards me but I think I've actually managed to get a couple of nice shots I think overall definitely in the portrait orientation and since now as well I've changed to landscape and I think I've gotten a shot as well there settings at the moment now I am up to around about six seconds um, because the light is fading and I'm getting barely a bit of movement as you can see with the water coming over the rocks there so there hasn't been major whites or anything like that to be able to contend with but I do think nonetheless I've really enjoyed my evening here in Ballycotton as always like I said it's a great spot to come and take some photographs um, I'm going to finish up this episode if it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time Schlange Falls.